Go to Grandma, Kathy Buckworth, back on the show with ideas on how you can connect the dots and have a great summer with the grandkids. Look at, ooh, I like the selection. We had a chat, uh, Kathy and I online, what she was going to wear, and we paired it with this uh, blue that I'm wearing. Good to see you, Buckworth. Uh, I love, uh, I love grandparents because <laughs> I'm a dad of three little kids <laughs> and they help us out a lot. A lot. I know people think it's summertime. We're all going to relax. We're going to chill. It's like it's the most organized space, right? Because you don't have that school, right, to send them to. Right. So I know with my, my own four kids and now with my two young grandsons, you know, balancing that summer can be really tricky. So grandparents can really help a lot and not just with, you know, drop them off at grandparents for the afternoon, but really with helping to organize hopefully the whole summer. Um, so I call this connect the dots because I like I like a good theme team, Tim, as you know. So you, you know that. I've got, so break it down for us. <laughs> so, what do you, you got? Break it down. What do you got? So break it down. So D for in the connect the dots is daytime camps, day camps. Okay. So whether you're helping to do the research on what camps the kids might like to go to, are they operating during hours when the parents can't pick up and you know drop them off with their work hours? So can grandparents help out there? Are there special equipment required if it's a sports day camp? Do they need to take their lunch, et cetera? So there are ways that we can help you know drop off the kids or the lunches or get them organized for those camps. And again, the research and the you know you know what it's like trying to register online as well can be really tricky. That's me with my grandson Owen doing a grandma day camp. So taking him out for, you know, a trail or something like that, doing your own sort of camp activities as well. But make sure you organize that with the parents too. Um, overnight camp is a whole other thing as we know. My kids all went to overnight camp. Three of them liked it. That's all I'm gonna say, one not so much. Um, but And I didn't go as a kid, but they loved it. Now, part of the reason, you know, I was hesitant to send my own kids to camp. I didn't have a great experience, but I talked to a lot of parents who did. And I actually, on my upcoming podcast on Go-To Grandma, I talked to a couple of camp directors in terms of how grandparents can really help get over those humps to go to overnight camp. So my son, Nick, ended up as a counselor at camp as well. Um, so the grandparents can help financially. Of course, it's expensive to go to overnight camp, but they can also talk to the parents about you will live if you don't see your child for two weeks. It's about the child. It's not about you. They're going to be okay without a cell phone. They're going to be okay canoeing on a lake. They're going to be okay sleeping in a cabin with seven or eight other kids, you know? So those types of skills, and my husband was an overnight camper, you keep your whole life, and he still has contact with those those people that he went to. I even think, with. Even, like, get like I don't know, staying over at Grandma and Grandpa's can even help them get ready Absolutely. for overnight camp because they're not in their own bed, they're not in their own house. It is a different world. I know it's Grandma and Grandpa, and they love Grandma and Grandpa, but it is it's just still a little bit different. You're just trying to get rid of your kids for the night. And I know yes. that, Tim, and I yep. appreciate that. Yippers. But, no, no, but that brings me into T for travel, which is, yeah, travel can be skip-gen travel, as we call it. Leave those annoying parents like yourselves at home and just take the kids, the fun ones, and do something with them on a trip. It can be a far away trip. It can be a weekend. It can also just be, you know, let's go and sleep over at Grandma's, as you say, and do an overnight camp there. But you want to get a few things straight if you're actually traveling away. Who's paying for what? You know, what are, this, what are the arrangements in terms of, are you going to have to sleep in a room with a toddler when you haven't done that for, you know, 50 years? What's that going to be like? You know, so you're going to have to really organize what's happening, where are you going, are all the documents in place? Do you have permission to travel with your grandchildren? Do you need a letter for that? So some things to keep in mind if you decide to do a, a big trip. Who pays for um, what? I thought grandparents always pay. That's not the case? Okay, good to, good to know. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll write that down. That's, write that down. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, minute left. <laughs> minute left for the last yeah, one. Sports. Just okay. sports. You know, if your kids are into sports day camps, you can take them out and do sports yourselves, go canoeing, um, look for unique sports camp. My son did fencing, which he ended up doing, you know, for a long time after that, all the way up to university. So find a sport that they can try out in the summer. Take them to a, a professional game of a sport they already play, like baseball or lacrosse or, you know, whatever sport you want to pick. So get them involved in the sports in the summer when you have time to do it. And mom and dad aren't racing to get them there. You'd never know what somebody's going to be interested in. You're always, you could always go exactly. with the, the, the soccer and the baseballs and I don't know, all, all of that type of stuff. But yeah, fencing is an interesting one because I don't know, you would never know yeah. that he would be into that, right? Yeah, exactly right. And it just started from a summer camp called Robin Hood Camp or something, you know, and he did archery and fencing. My yeah. daughter ended up taking archery for a couple of years after that. You never yeah. know. Okay, 20 seconds. Exactly we got right. to, we, we got to go. Hope mom and dad, my mom and dad, Graham and grandpa are listening because <laughs> we got the, we've already laid out the calendar. We've already picked the dates of where they're, get, where they're going to be watching Check the kids. With them. So thank you, mom and dad. <laughs> thank you to all the grandma, grandma and grandpas out there. And thank you, Kathy Buckworth. Thanks, Tim.